Hey guys, it's Lisa with Are You My Cousin? It's Thursday afternoon, so it's time for another chat about genealogy. So I hope you guys are having a good week. As you come in, feel free to pop in the chat, maybe something you've been working on this week or something on your genealogy to-do list for this week or this weekend. Um, for me, I have a brand new book on um, all about Irish immigrant women and what their life was like before they came to to America and what it was like when their feet hit American soil. So it's a really fascinating book. Um, I'm so excited to get into. Again, I'm really trying to dig into some social history as it applies to my own uh, fourth great grandmother that I am trying desperately to break that down that brick wall. So I'd love to hear some of the, the things on your to-do list. Is it a chance to finally get back to a library that's opening up or a repository that's opening up? Maybe you had an idea for a new database you want to check on. Just pop it in the chat. I'd love to hear about it um, so, and see what you guys are up to. So just a fair warning, guys. This is live, obviously, and we are having a lot of a storm roll through where I'm at right now. So should something go a little haywire, sit tight. I'll be back. <laughs> um, I think we'll be okay, though. Just wanted to kind of give that heads up for you. And before we get started, just let you know, I want you to mark June 22nd on your calendar. That's June 22nd, 2021 at 1 p.m. Um, we'll, I'll be hosting another masterclass and I want you to watch your emails um, next week for, and I'll let you guys know what that is going to be about. I think I was gonna do it this week, but the holiday kind of got me off just a little bit. So um, I didn't quite get it done. Hey, Barb, good to see you from Canada. Yay, hey, Kathy, so glad that you could join us today. I'm excited today to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is photographs. Now you guys know I love old family photographs. I write about it and I'll have to let you in on a secret is that I never ever intended to kind of get into the photographs of my family. I know that sounds kind of weird because I've, I've done so much of it over the year, but I never really intended it to be quite such a big part of the website. But guess what? I love it. Oh. Julie, yes, um, I will, Julie, I don't have the book with me right now, but I will send you a copy of a link to that book that I got, because I know I thought about you when I got that Irish female book. So yes, I will definitely do that. Um, so anyway, I did not really plan on doing a lot of with photographs other than just simply enjoy them. And then I just got so into trying to, as you know, identify them. And then I kind of tried to take it a little bit further and try to figure out what else is that that photo telling me? What else can I figure out from my family that I'm missing? Um, so I, is, is in the last year, two years, as I've gotten more into the social history, it's like, what am I missing from these photographs? They're telling me something beyond just the likeness of this ancestor. So that's sort of where my head has been this week. And part of that, as you guys know, my heritage has release their brand new tool in their photo suite so called photo repair so now not only can you repair your photos and and this will do the scratches and things like that and i'm going to show you in just a minute you know you can also colorize you can enhance and you can even animate those photos if you wish so let me check the comments real quick hey linda it's nice to see you from New Jersey Shore and Mary Jane from Dolestown. Wonderful. Hey, Catherine. Ah, so you, what you did on your to-do list, you contacted your distant cousin. It turns out he had already done a Y DNA test. Oh, happy day. That's a great thing. No breakthroughs yet, but possibly a change in direction from the formal location. Some researchers had thought that's, that's actually pretty huge. So you may not have had that breakthrough Catherine, but I'm so excited for you because just knowing, Sometimes having another avenue of research, particularly if you've hit a brick wall, that can be huge when you haven't when you can't go any further. So to be able to actually know that you can go in a different direction, that's huge. Um, so well done, well done. Hey Dave, good to see you and Danya and Anne. Wonderful. So we've got Michigan and Georgia and Washington State, lots of places here in the um, today, and I am actually in North Carolina today. Um, I thought I was going to be in Tennessee, but nope, I'm in North Carolina. I came back a little early. So here we go. All right. So let's talk about those photos. If you're just joining us, we're talking a lot about photos uh, and how much I personally love photos and that my heritage has released their 
my heritage photo repair tool which is a new tool in their suite they are so excited about it and i'm going to show you some things about it i did there is a new post over on the website about it but i want i will want to take you guys over there hang on i have to hide this pop-up that showed up there to the site so that you guys can see some of the ins and outs uh, on it and kind of see it in action so but i am kind of curious if any of you guys have actually tried the new tool yet um, it'll be interesting to see. So a couple things to know about the My Heritage Repair thing first. And number one is that it is free to all users of My Heritage. So what they're saying is, you know, if you're already a user of My Heritage or if you sign up for My Heritage at the basic level, you can use it. At that free level, or not free level, at that level, their lower level then of subscription. It's saying you can you can repair a few. They're not. They haven't given us a number for how many that is. So I honestly don't know how many number how many photos you can do at that level. Um, to do unlimited and things, you would need to have the complete subscription, um, complete level subscription. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys, and just also as a um, um, just. Full disclosure i am an affiliate for my heritage as well barb says she has a photograph of her grandparents wedding anniversary that's stuck on a piece of glass from a frame not sure how to take it off without ripping it barbie i will be honest i'm not so sure either but i tell you exactly who would probably we need to ask that question to we can do that over in the facebook group would be a great place to put this Barb would be to ask um, melissa barker who is the archive lady out of Tennessee and she would be able to let you know if there's a safe way to do that and perhaps what that might be well so I will try to remember when we're done to put that in the Facebook group but I would also encourage you Bar Barb to do it as well and we'll tag Melissa and see if she can give us some hints for that um, she is my my go-to person for all of my you know Arch archival type of questions around photographs and things. So I'm sorry to hear though, it got stuck to the glass. That is not that unusual. I mean, I've, I've seen that before and it's, it's, I'm always sad because I don't want to mess up the photograph, definitely. All right, so let's head over to my heritage. Let's take a look at this, these photos and kind of show you a couple things that I'd like you to, to make note of if you're using their new photo repair um, Things. So, all right, hang on one second. I just need to go in and share my screen with you. Let me just hit the right buttons here and we will get right over there. Let's see here. One more. And I think we're there. Yep, there we are. Okay, so this is the home, my homepage on my heritage. So um, I, to find the photos, you want to go over to photos, obviously, and just click on that. It, I'm noticing it's not pulling up in the drop down but I think there's a reason for that. So I actually have a lot of photos here that I've been playing around with. And I will tell you one thing I've noticed is that apparently my family took care of their photos because they're, a lot of mine in my collection are actually in really pretty good shape, faded, needing that kind of thing, but they really seem to be taken care of quite a bit. So I do wanna drop down and show you. So I'm going to use this photograph right here. This is my grandmother, but you can see all the cracks right there this photo let me open it up so this photo was bent here hang on this is the original photo as you can see let me i am going to increase my screen a little bit so you guys can see that better great so you can see you know this was obviously folded at one point in all honesty it might have actually been in my grandfather's wallet if i remember correctly so I have already colorized it and, oh, it's not, let me, I ran it, so that's what it looked like before. And then when I hit that repair button right here, I hit that and it took out all of those cracks. So this was a really good repair, as you can see. Um, so usually it takes, when you do it the first time, it'll give you the, the little spinny wheel and it'll um, take a few moments, but it's done pretty well. Now, as you can see, I've also enhanced it. I've also colorized it. Now, the colorization on this one turned out eh, not so, not one of the better ones, but it it did colorize her a little bit. And if I wished, I could animate her. Now, you guys, this is totally a this is very much a personal opinion, but 
I don't like to animate my photos. It just sort of creeps me out. And so I, I choose not to animate my photos. I did it once or twice and it was like my childhood nightmares coming back because I was always afraid of those photos on the wall. So I didn't. So this is what it looked like before and look what the photo repair did. Now, if I if if it didn't come out quite right, I could go up to those to the gear icon right there. And when you do that, it does open up photo settings. So again, just like in the My Heritage in Color, you know, you can change your saturation levels here. Um, there's different renderings you can do. I could say, all right, that first repair job, eh, maybe not so hot. Let's try an extensive repair and I could preview and see if it made it any more. So you do have an option if you do it once and it doesn't come up very well, you can go in and try that next level of, it, of extensive repair. And I'm looking to see if it's actually going to do anything. Oh, it's actually changing some colors because I changed the saturation on it as well. Let's give this a moment to do. And there we have it. So it actually did kind of clean it up a little even more, I think. So it's kind of nice to see how that looked. All right. So again, to get to that extra one, you just, it's the gear icon right there. That's how you do that. All right. Let me show you another photo I did as well back in my photos let's see here and this one had a limitation that i wanted to show you so if i go back down here uh, there it is so this is a picture of my grandmother and her children so let me show you the let me show you the before and let me enlarge that just a little bit more so you can see it now, you can see this area right here has a huge tear in it. And then there's a little bit of creasing right there. Not terrible. Uh, so I did click the repair button. And this is what it did. Now, this picture I had already enhanced and colorized. So it took out and cleaned up this scratch there. But it didn't really do much here. Now, that's partly because if you were able to actually see the original photograph, this is a really deep tear. I mean, this is pretty level. It's pretty far down into the photograph paper. And the program just doesn't have enough information around it to be able to fill that in. So if it's a, you know, a really severe tear or you know, patch missing, you know, it may or may not be able to actually fix that. But let's run it through the extra extensive version and let's see what happened because you know I didn't do that the first time around. Let's see. Oops. Well, let's just see what happens if I do that. I don't think it's actually going to give me any more. Again, this is a pretty thick, le deep level um, chunk missing out of this particular photograph. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what it is able to do. Do, do, do. So again, it just takes a little bit of time for it to do its magic. Definitely. You have to kind of kind of sit and wait. So um, I'll be interested to hear. I don't I can't see your comments from the screen, but to come back and see if any of you guys have tried any of it to see if you've been able to fix any. So again, it looks like it may have done a little bit up here. Um, I think the photograph overall looks better, but it did again that deep, deep tear it didn't it didn't fix. But I'm fortunate in the fact that it does not interfere with their actual faces and such. Now, if you open up a photo, and this is something I know that could probably trip you up if, or make you wonder if you've done something wrong and you, the answer is no, you have not. So if you click on a photograph, say like this one. All right, let that load. Now what you notice is that you have these three buttons up here, right? But you don't see that repair button. Now the reason is that the program, the um, My Heritage, the AI behind it all, does not detect that there's anything that needs to be fixed in this photograph. So it that button does not appear here. So I wanted to let you guys know that um, if you do check out a photograph and it doesn't show up, that's because the program is saying it doesn't recognize anything that needs to be repaired. In the event that you still think it needs to be repaired, 
Um, oh, no, they don't even give, they do give you, if you go over to the little three dots, you can open up repair and, and force a repair that way. So, but you would need to, it's not going to be an automatic button that you can um, click on. And it doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong or anything like that. So I wanted you guys to kind of recognize that and be, know though that you still had an option if you wanted it to repair to try. So I'm curious. So this is what it was before, and that's what it was after. So it looks a little better. I, I think a, maybe a tad sharper, but it didn't really have anything major to, to actually clear up. All right, so let me come back over so I can see you guys. Um, yeah, so that's really, that's the new tool. It's easy to use. You can download it, certainly. Um, and again, you can do multiple ones multiple fixes to that photograph so you can repair it you can enhance it you can colorize it and you can animate it i mean that's four steps that you can do with that photograph if you wish so um let me come back over and see what everybody's talking about there um Catherine says she found a, a group photo on a cousin's ancestry tree of family reunion in the 1920s oh most of the most of the relatives were identified i think i'm jealous Catherine. <laughs> i just received couple weeks ago from my parents, a copy of a family reunion. And I think I know which side of the family it's on, but no one, not one person out of probably 50 people is identified. Um, but so now I have a new goal. Um, so I'm excited for you, Catherine, that you found that. Hey, Susan from Canada. Yay. Um, and then Kathy, Catherine says she also had a second great grandfather photo torn at the top. He and your husband was able to use a photo restoration to copy it and paste it. Yeah, we actually did ask um, Daniel of my heritage about um, how, you know, was that ever a possibility? And he kind of laughed and said that was Photoshop. That's <laughs> where you can, like, um, as, you, as Catherine indicates, copy another part of the photo and paste into it. So this program does not have that. That's one of the limitations, but um, that would be more of a, um, a Photoshop thing for that. So I've just not ever done Photoshop because that's, I just have never done it actually. Oh, so Julie said, is it free with my heritage subscription? Subscription, yes. Now, depending on which level of subscription you have, you might, you need a what they call the complete, yeah, the complete, complete level to do it kind of unlimited, but yes, all levels actually have it. Um, you just might be limited in how the number you can do. And again, they didn't share, we asked and they didn't share, uh, Daniel says like, I'm not really sure what the numbers are at this point. So I'll be interested to see kind of what people think about that. I do like the fact that you can get rid of some of those scratches. Cause I have some photos that while most of them were in pretty good shape, you know, the kind that were stuck in my grandfather's wallet or something like that, those tend to, to need a little more fixing and, and it's great to help kind of take away some of those scratches as well. I really think it's good for those more of those minor scratches and things like that. Um, I have seen where they were showing some examples over on my heritage when I was over there of how to, it'll do more around the face and around the eyes. Eyes are really hard. So sometimes that's a little hard for it, but it, it will actually fill in sometimes around the face. So that's a really neat feature to be able to put parts of that back in. Um, Diane says she just signed up, so she needs to get busy. Yes, I know. Would it work on an old 10 type? Julie, I'm not sure. Hang on one second. Um, I don't see why not, because what you're uploading is a JPEG, or you would get a, a digital scan of your 10 type and upload it. And I would. I would try it and see. I'm not really sure. I, let me see if I have. I only I only own one ten type. So let me let me just take a quick look at my heritage and see if I have it actually over there. Um, let me see one second. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I don't have that one uploaded. I'll upload it and try it and let you guys know because I don't I don't have it already over on um, my heritage. I don't see why I, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, quite frankly, I think it I think it should. So um, yeah. 
so yeah that's really what so that's what i wanted to have for you guys today it's kind of a short one today but i wanted you to kind of see how to do to have some fun with those photographs and to kind of clean them up some more oh the other thing i was going to tell you is that right now when you use this photo repair tool it does not put anything on like the corner so like if you colorize your photos or something it'll like leave that little watermark and as it to indicate that it's been colorized or it's been um fixed the enhanced version but it does not do that with the um repair so i thought that was kind of a, a nice kind of thing because once you repair it i don't really want to see those little icons down at the bottom if i can help it so enjoy guys and have fun with it it's it is not 100% perfect, but it is good. And I think it's gonna be like the colorization program they did where it gets better and better as it goes along. So I'm I'm really excited about this. Oh, you're more than welcome, Donya. So if you guys have any questions, um, I do, here, let me, I'm gonna put a link to the post that I wrote right here in the chat so you guys can see that. And you are welcome. Let me give you a link to the My Heritage if you want it. If you want that link for My Heritage, where did I put it? Sometimes I don't know where I put everything on my, on my computer, guys. Um, yeah, here we go. This is actually so what I'm putting in here, guys. Again, full disclosure, this is my affiliate link for My Heritage. It does not cost you anything extra to use my link. It just um, helps me get credit and I receive a little bit, not much, trust me, uh, for that. And it helps me run my website and that kind of thing. So um, that's what that is. Um, Catherine says she has a photo of another second great grandfather and his whole nose had faded out. The woman tried to restore it several years ago and made his nose larger than it. Oh my. So I'm curious, Catherine, when she, was she using a, 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 like a Photoshop type thing to enlarge it. If you've got a copy of the original, try running it through the um, photo repair and see if that would actually help it. That I'd be curious to see what the difference would be on that um, with that because I, it really, my hair, just, the tools, they tend to just, they enhance, but they don't, and then they can fill in but it is not like a Photoshop where you could like literally change the shape of his nose. I don't think it can really do that. So no, nope, I'd be interesting to see. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. Feel free to hop over to the website. I actually have a video over on that post. If you want to see it a little bit more in action, um, be sure and mark those calendars for June 22nd for the next masterclass. And I will see you next week. So have a great day. Bye.